your skin, Big Bandage. Hi guys, what's up? It is my face story here, and today I want to talk to you guys about a skincare ingredient that I recently found out about that I think is pretty interesting. It's kind of like an all-in-one type thing. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and let's get to it. The ingredient that I recently found out about is niacinamide. I recently found out about this ingredient, and it's pretty good, especially for acne-prone skin, rosacea prone skin, aging skin, if you suffer with hyperpigmentation. Basically, I'm gonna to talk to you about the five reasons why you need it in your skin routine. And I will be honest, I don't have it in my skin routine yet, but I did order some and I'm really excited. I have a, one product that has a little bit in it and I kept testing it, you know, on my face. I feel like it, it's pretty good, it looks pretty good. So um, yeah, we're gonna talk about all of the reasons why you should use it, all the five reasons why you should use it, and that's it. Number one, it treats both acne and rosacea, so it's really good for inflammatory prone skin. Basically helps to reduce the blemishes on the skin, the amount of congestion in your skin, and it actually naturally balances the sebum levels on your skin. So over time, your skin will produce less oil, which is awesome because like don't we all want to be less oily i know i do look at this i'm an oil slick so it'll prevent the overproduction of oils and then for rosacea it really works by improving the skin's response to things that kind of flare up rosacea there's different things like spicy food sunlight cold heat wind even so it basically just toughens up the skin like that outer layer and makes it so that it's not as sensitive and it can tolerate more things. So you won't get as many rosacea flare-ups and you won't get as many acne flare-ups, which is amazing. The second reason why you need niacinamide is because it contains anti-aging properties. Um, obviously, we all wanna look like we are a baby but smooth and young forever. So if you feel like your skin is like dull or sagging, it'll definitely help to restore that youthful glow. It helps with collagen production and it also helps to synthesize the elastin in the skin, which is like what makes it, you know, stretchy and more malleable and just <laughs> bouncy, I guess is the right word. It helps to protect against oxidative stress, which is really nice because there are things in our environment that kind of stress our skin out, just like pollutants and UV rays and everything we come across on a daily basis. So it kind of like acts like a shield and protects your skin from all of that. And it will reverse any visible signs of oxidative stress or pollutant stress or whatever that you already have. So it will reverse the signs and it will protect your skin from further stress. Awesome, awesome sauce. Okay, so if that wasn't good enough, third thing, it strengthens the skin barrier. My skin barrier, yeah. I'm not kidding, for real. And I feel like that's another part of why it helps with rosacea and why it helps with acne. A lot of times when we have acne, it's because we have an upset acid mantle or we have a stripped skin barrier. So this helps to really build back up that skin barrier, make it stronger, make it less susceptible to everyday stresses and just make it more strong, make it stronger, yeah. But it really helps your skin to retain and hold its natural moisture levels. So if you do have an upset skin barrier, oftentimes it's like dry, dehydrated, cracked. It'll help your skin to kind of hold in its moisture and make it again stronger fourth reason why it's awesome is because you can use it in any skin routine any skin routine crazy right so it can be used with AHAs it can be used with BHAs it can be used with pretty much like any any other products and it won't counteract which is awesome because you guys know I have a problem with like over exfoliating or with like mixing the wrong chemicals so this is really great because you can use it with anything so salicylic acid lactic acid all works great with it the only thing you cannot use it with, there is one rule, you do not want to use it with vitamin C. So when niacinamide <laughs> is combined with vitamin C, it actually counteracts the effect and it counteracts the ingredients. So it's just going to really minimize the effectiveness and the overall results that you could achieve. It's not going to like have a bad reaction, like burn your face or anything, it's just gonna do absolutely nothing. <laughs> so those are the only two that you do not want to combine. You can still use both, but just not at the same time. So you could use 
like vitamin C at night, and then you could use the niacinamide during the day. And that's a way that you could use both without having to like give one up, you know what I mean? Number five, this is the biggest reason why I'm excited about this ingredient, okay? It suppresses melanin. So basically when you tan, you know, you get a golden color and your skin over time, you, you get layers, it goes deep. The way your skin reacts to tanning to UV rays outside is that it shows the color, the pigment. And that's basically your melanin and your skin. That response, you know, tanning is obviously normal, but over time it can become like impaired. The function of tanning can become like splotchy, uneven. Instead of, you know, what we aim for, which is like a nice, even golden tan color. This also happens with hyperpigmentation. So if your skin is kind of like more splotchy when you tan, you're probably gonna be more prone to hyperpigmentation. Niacinamide slows down the process of melanin. So when you get a pimple or whatever, it'll slow down the process of it actually getting and turning red. And I struggle with hyperpigmentation a lot. That's why this makes me so excited. And it slows down the process of that redness reaching the epidermis or reaching the most top layer of your skin, meaning that that redness is going to be shorter, smaller, and go away faster, which is all amazing. That's all what we want. So if you're someone who suffers with incessant hyperpigmentation, it's gonna be worth a try for sure. I know mine at least lasts like months, no matter what I do. I could use like a whole tub of vitamin C cream every night and it'll still be there. Basically, great for acne and rosacea. It contains anti-aging properties, strengthens your skin barrier, can be used in any skin routine, and it suppresses melanin. Yeah guys, that is it. So I just thought that that, that was a pretty interesting fact tidbit. I don't know if you guys have tried niacinamide or not. Let me know down in the comments below if you have, what your experience was with it. For anyone who's interested, the item that I'm going to be testing out to see if I like it, I haven't gotten it yet, I just ordered it, is the Glossier Super Pure Serum. And that has niacinamide and zinc in it. So we will see if it works. All right guys, that is it. That is all that I got. Again, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe down below to the Acne channel. And yeah, all right. Bye guys. There's a hole